So we're going to begin by talking about the library. And I brought up the library briefly in the first lesson uh, just to talk about sort of the, that's this where you get certain types of effects. But I want to go through it in a little bit more detail now. The library is where anything that is created in the program, any of the effects or the particles or the anything that is created within the program, is, is found here in the library. And this library is divided up into categories, behaviors, filters, image units, generators, per particle emitters, replicators, shapes, gradients, fonts, text styles, shape styles, and so on, music and photos, content, favorites. All of these things are categories that you can use. Now, many of these things you can get to other places in the program. So, for example, the behaviors category, you notice in the last lesson we were doing those text behaviors, all of those text sequence behaviors are found here in the behaviors. In fact, all of the behaviors, you can get to them over here in the behaviors pop-up menu, or you can get to them here in the library by choosing one of these categories. And then within the category, you see the list. There's my text sequence. And then there's all those text sequence behaviors we were looking for, continuous, euphoric, or energetic, rather, uh, and so forth. And so this is another way to get to all of those behaviors. Very similar to that are filters, and we're going to come back and talk about filters in a bit more detail in a few minutes, but the same idea. You can either get to the filters here in the library or down here in the Add Filters button. If I just select an object here and go to the Filters pop-up menu here, you see here are the filters. Blur, border, color correction, distortion, same exact thing over here, blur, border, color correction, distortion, all of those same filters are available in the, in the library that are available in the pop-up. Uh, generators, same thing. And we're going to talk more about generators in a few minutes as well. But the same idea, the generators are available here or down here if you pop open this generators pop-up menu. So here's generators, caustic, cellular, checkerboard, clouds, Caustic, cellular, checkerboard, clouds, same idea. The difference is, for all of these things, the advantage to using the library is you get this preview. So you can walk through and decide what it is you're looking for. Once you know these and you know them inside and out, you just want to apply them quickly, you can do that by using the pop-up menu. And that's the same thing for the behaviors or the filters or the uh, generators. All of these things are available here in the pop-up menus. But there you just get a list. You just get a text list. Cellular, checkerboard, clouds. Well, what are those things? If you want to know, go to the library. Here in the library, I can look at them. What is caustics? Caustics is this image over here. It's a simulation of water refraction. Fraction. You know, what is cellular or what is checkerboard? You know, cellular's got this little animated thing, looks like little particle systems. Uh, gradient, you can see what the gradient options are Ch grid, lens flare, membrane, and so on. You can examine these, and I'm just showing you this for generators. The same thing is exactly true for filters. If you cho choose a filter, you can see what that filter is going to look like, a preview of that filter here in the preview area of the library. So this is, again, a really nice way to get a sense of what you're going to do before you apply it. And the same thing is true for behaviors and these other things as well.